Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Fort Knox. I am John Fort and got some breaking news. Uh, we're going to have more of this on Tech Check later today, but Dish is partnering with Amazon Web Services, AWS, to team on the 5G cloud. That's just now crossing the wires. That news is just breaking. I did an interview uh, yesterday with uh, Mark Ruan, who is the Dish chief network officer, and I want to share that with you now. Mark Ruan, uh, chief network officer at Dish and an executive vice president. Uh, excited to talk to you for Tech Check about this partnership with AWS in 5G. So first of all, give us a sense of what Dish's overall ambition is in Las Vegas. Um, take take me however far out it is, a year out, um, weeks out, what is my experience going to be either as a business customer or a consumer? Yeah, thanks, John. You know, we're building a network over the next uh, couple of years, three years. We have some uh, FCC requirements to cover in first stage 20% and then 70% of the population. So Las Vegas this year is the first uh, step into bringing a network together. Uh, we're going to be live, we're going to be testing our vendors, our software, testing the experience, uh, using some devices. And then on top of that, we're also going to test the network, that is the automation. So it's going to be a kind of a live test bed where our partners and uh, observers will be able to start and see uh, what it looks like to build a cloud native network. I uh, just want to emphasize there what uh, Mark Juan is saying, test bed, right? So partners participating, this is about the back end, this uh, combination between uh, DISH and AWS. And uh, let's continue. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get that video going again. Hold on just a moment. A little bit of a uh, technical three years. We there have we some uh, FCC requirements. Kind of a live test bed where our partners Here we go. and uh, observers will be able to start and see uh, what it looks like to build a cloud native network. Now, what's the business model and approach overall, because um, I was under the impression that Dish's approach was more as, as a, a, an MVNO, mobile net, uh, virtual network operator. H how much of this is your own infrastructure investment versus leveraging others? So we intend over the years to uh, cover uh, pretty much the, uh, the US and serve uh, everyone in the US. Um, we have uh, a mixed business model between serving consumers uh, with uh, different brands. We have our own brand, but also uh, serving enterprises. What um, 5G allows us to do, especially cloud native uh, 5G, it allows us to build a network of network, if you wish, where um, different enterprises can have their own private network. And we intend to sell to them uh, this feeling that they run and own uh, their network. 5G network across the US, across their facilities. It seems like Las Vegas uh, gives a lot of opportunity for exactly that because of the big, not only tourism, but business tourism uh, there in, in hotels. I mean, these hotels are like mini cities unto themselves. Is that part of the attraction in deploying uh, an enterprise 5G in Vegas? We're certainly interested by the use case of those uh, large hospitality places. If you think of large hotels, you know, they have uh, uh, an extraordinary amount of uh, technology in there, uh, from Wi-Fi to security to managing, uh, you know, the, the entrance to your own room, to uh, distributing video on your TV, uh, to giving you that uh, unique experience that you are uh, almost at home and uh, they have a lot of appetite for new technology. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, some of them are perfect partners to test 
uh, of far 5G can bring those uh, new feelings and experiences in uh, hospitality uh, places. You've done extensive study in uh, networks and network design, the technology behind them. What's the potential of the cloud to change the model for managing a 5G network? And so give me some of the, I mean, I don't want to get too in the weeds, but give me some of the theory behind why this AWS partnership is potentially important for um, how flexible, how fast, how efficient a 5G network can be. Yeah, I think the first uh, thing to, to look at is the speed of innovation. Um, using the cloud, uh, the way we're using it, allows you to bring the innovation speed of the cloud ecosystem, which has proven over the last 15 years to be very fast into the telco world, which has suffered from a, a less um, innovative or, or not as agile uh, business model. So we expect to have to transform the speed at which we can bring innovation. Why does it matter? It matters because a lot of enterprises have a lot of ideas on how they can automate uh, healthcare, how they can automate drones, how can they, they can automate uh, transport, but they, they need to bring that innovation into their network by themselves with their partners. And that's the first thing you're going to see. The speed of innovation is going to be different. So a lot of the advantage then is on the enterprise side. From the consumer side, when you are eventually trying to serve everyone who's in Las Vegas potentially, are there cost benefits to uh, having a, a, a cloud operation in the background similar to the cost benefits that we see um, for consumer applications that are trying to quickly come to market and run their infrastructure at the same time and they don't they don't have to, to use legacy equipment? Absolutely, you know, when we scale over time, um, we are going to see uh, significant cost benefits um, because of the automation, because of uh, the fact that we share some of the infrastructure um, you know, we use uh, transport, that is all the optics. We use data centers that are built and shared uh, with other applications, and there is a big cost benefit. The other cost benefit to us is uh, around uh, automation. There are a lot of things we can automate, and because we're a greenfield, we don't have a large team, so we don't have large uh, OPEX attached to those teams. So if we automate day one, uh, this will lead to uh, significant cost uh, uh, leverage and uh, reductions that uh, you know we we want to use in the market. So, how quickly does this spread beyond one metropolitan area? I mean, I think you gave like a two to three year timeline in the beginning, if I'm remembering correctly, for the kind of testing and rollout of this in Las Vegas. Um, there's a lot of capex involved in building out your own network. Uh, normally, I imagine that's still the case, even with a cloud partnership. Um, t tell me what scale looks like. I think a good uh, metric is to use uh, the FCC requirements that we have. Uh, that's uh, the first one is by uh, June uh, of next year. We are going to cover 20% of the U.S. population, and uh, by June of 2023. Uh, we're going to cover 70% US of the US population. So that gives you, and then we will continue from there, um, uh, deploying our network. So that gives you the speed at which we're going to uh, deploy. Um, and you have seen the uh, announcement we've made about uh, tower companies that are giving us access to, uh, to transport, to towers, to facilities. So we, uh, we have started building in uh, several markets now where we're starting to put our radios up the mast of the towers and and we're connecting them back to the cloud. So we're doing it this in parallel. Las Vegas. And does the partnership with AWS stop at the infrastructure side or does it perhaps even go forward into marketing? Because a big part of making the model work, of course, is getting people on the network as well. Yeah, to, uh, of course, together with AWS, we, we have a lot of dreams and ambitions. We've been working together for about uh, a year and a half now, so uh, you can imagine we have a lot of ideas. So it starts with the infrastructure. Um, beyond the infrastructure, it goes 
into the use of uh, machine learning uh, and, and data. One of, the thing, one of the things that is unique about using the cloud is that uh, we have access to much more data. We know what happens in the network everywhere, um, and we can use that data to shape new services, uh, to make them uh, more optimized, to deliver more bandwidth or more speed when needed, uh, to optimize the, the cost or the security to the different uh, requirements. So these are the type of things uh, we are already uh, thinking of together with AWS, but it can go much beyond that. Uh, AWS has a lot of assets, a lot of markets, and um, bringing access to uh, a 5G network to them is certainly very interesting for connecting their objects and their assets together. Uh, and then finally, quickly if you can, what's the last technology that you saw in networks that was as significant as uh, what you're attempting here? Um, I must say that we we are lucky. Um, I've you know the last big things I saw were either the beginning of mobile uh, networks twenty years ago or the big internet uh, deployments um, uh, fifteen years ago. But five G is not like four G. It's a big disruption. Uh, the thing of uh, about five G is that it has been built uh, for the speed of machines. If you think of telco for the last 150 years, telco have been built for humans that react at a certain speed, like 60, 100 milliseconds, but machines react much faster, like 100 times faster. And that's the first technology that has been thought of to make machines react uh, so that they can augment our lives. So this is uh, drones, this is robots, this is remote surgery. All this needs a uh, very high speed and that's why it was so important for us to have a pure cloud native 5G. If you're mixing 4G and 5G, you're making uh, um, a much slower network. It won't react at the, at the speed of machines. And that was very important for us to leverage uh, that new capability. So I'm just saying last 15 years, we have not seen that. And, and this is lucky to come at a time when uh, 5G cloud is, is mature enough uh, to deploy a large scale network. Well, um you know, the, the deployment, the testing, and the uh, results. We'll certainly look forward to, to seeing what this technology is capable of. Mark Ruan, uh, the Chief Network Officer at DISH. Thank you. Thank you, John. There you have it. Um, we're going to have more on this uh, DISH and AWS teaming on the 5G cloud. As a matter of fact, in Tech Check on CNBC coming up today, just a couple hours. Uh, AWS VP Dave Brown uh, is going to join me. He is in charge of EC2, the Elastic Compute Cloud uh, at AWS, and has been there for more than a decade. Um, you know, we, we heard Mark Juan there talking about this really as a, a test phase, uh, enterprise focused at first, um, and as being a, an architectural shift for kind of the back end of 5G. So I think that's an important way to think about it. There's some speculation out there about Amazon's interest in wireless uh, in the future and, and perhaps partnering with DISH on that. This is not that, right? This is about 5G infrastructure. You heard him talk uh, about the 5G partnership, machine learning, um, you know, all of the distributed assets that Amazon might have an interest in tying together. So that's where this is focused right now. Once again, Tech Check today on CNBC. Uh, see you there for more from the AWS perspective. Um, their VP uh, of EC2 is going to join me.